Hello, and welcome to the G4 Report. And I can't imagine, having flown over a good bit of Afghanistan, how we could do as logisticians and support the force that our president and our country has asked us to do in the movement of forces into Afghanistan without this capability. The capability that General Radin is talking about is the Combat Service Support Very Small Aperture Terminal, or VSAT. Simply stated, the VSAT is, is deployed throughout the Army, all three components, active, reserve, and guard, and it gives our soldiers the ability to reach back into the national databases and have access to uh, the most current information available in the log system. Just recently, the Army marked the production of the 3,000th terminal. So when a soldier deploys to Iraq or Afghanistan, they set their VSAT up. They also set up a wireless distribution network, and it gives all the standard Army management information systems, all the STAMUS systems, PVUs and, and uh, OLS and on and on and on, gives them all the ability to reach back via satellite to national databases and update with the most current information. Most recently, a number of units were deployed to Haiti to help with the relief effort. Uh, on 12 January, you're, I'm sure you're aware there was a, uh, a magnitude 7 earthquake struck the island of Haiti. The day after that, uh, the VSAT program office began moving field support engineers around the country to key locations, uh, Fort Hood, Fort Campbell, Fort Bragg, and they began uh, provisioning, is the technical term, they began loading the data files on the VSAT necessary to operate in Haiti. As those units began to deploy, they took their VSATs with them, and that gave deployed units in Haiti some of their very first reach back, long haul communications capability on the island. One of the benefits of the VSAT is it takes soldiers off the road and out of dangerous convoys. Underneath the old paradigm, a soldier would order a part, he would then copy that requisition to a floppy disk, hop in a Humvee, get in a convoy, and drive somewhere to another FOB or COB in Iraq to upload that at, at the higher echelon. Well, that exposed an awful lot of soldiers to unnecessary risk. And out of that need, uh, uh, this solution was identified. Initially fielded in 2004, the VSAT has become a critical part of every logistician's toolbox. I can't imagine how we could fight on the battlefield without this capability. 3,000 of them connecting logisticians worldwide, providing support for our soldiers on the battlefield.